Well, hello. Welcome to All the Wiser. Today, Lorraine, how are you today? I'm good. Uh, Not bad for a little, little, a little cool <laughs> this time of the year. Yeah. But look who we have with us today. I'm looking. Paula <laughs> Abbott. It's so nice to have oh, you with thank us. Thank you for having me. From thank Channel you. 4, but it's That's also right. called CBS. Right, right. And uh, WBZ. WBZ. And... Uh, you do the news early in the morning? I do. I do. From now on, yeah. when I can't sleep at night, I'll be <laughs> waiting to turn that on at 5 o'clock. We are on right at 5 a.m. And uh, my partner, David Wade, and I, every morning, have all the news, weather, and traffic. He's and new it's too. a lot of fun. He is. He yeah. is. Just joined the team this yes. fall. So that's great. Uh, so you have to get up Love early it. in the morning? I do. I and do. Uh, I get up at about 2.30 in the morning. Wow. Tell me, do you do and the Consumer Report? Is that the one you do I do, five? too. I do. Later on in the afternoon at 5 in the at five p.m., yeah. people see a lot of the stories that I do that are on consumer and business issues, and uh, it's yeah. a lot of fun yeah. to be able to work on those stories, too, yeah, because those are separate. Yeah. things that you know people are really interested in, care yeah. about. That so. you can look out for. Yes. Yeah. No, nobody yeah. would believe looking at you that you are the mother of four <laughs> children. <laughs> That's right. I was... Uh, Two girls and two boys? I have boys. two girls and two boys. Two teenagers. Getting right. big. I know. I still feel like a new mother. I still yeah. feel like I should have these little toddlers yeah, running yeah. around, but they're getting big on me. I had my children very young yeah, in great. my 20s, and uh, they're wonderful. I know. That's great. That's good. And that's the nice thing about working the early, early morning shift. A lot of people, you know, they would dread that, having to get up at 2.30 in the morning. But for me, it's nice because even though I go to bed early and I get up very early, then I'm able to be home in the afternoon and pick them up from school. And They don't even know that you work. Right, right. They sort of sleep through half my work day, which now is kind of in, nice. Now that they're in school, yes, yeah, you yeah. are. Yeah, so, but I'm able to be there and drive to soccer and do homework and all those things in the afternoon. So, so how really long have you nice. been doing the news? in the morning. I've been on the morning show a little over three years oh. and I've been at WBZ for five years altogether and yeah. uh, so I love it. It's been great. I have a nephew that works uh, for Channel 4. Oh, yeah. Greg uh, Razzo. Oh, yes. Name, right? yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. See him every day. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> He's yeah. wonderful. Where do I tell him I interviewed <laughs> That's Paul right. <laughs> He'll say, oh, her. <laughs> I know her. Yeah. <laughs> Pass her all the time. So uh, yeah. what I forgot to mention, uh, mm. that I just was talking to Lorraine. It's her birthday. I know. Yes, Happy birthday. birthday. That is right. so impressive. And uh, yes. she, do you want to give your age on this program? Why lie? Well, no she's, secrets. I'm going to squeal. It's 80, she's 89 and she looks wonderful. She and does. She's pushing 90. <laughs> This hopefully, is when you start crowing hopefully. about your age, yeah, right? Yeah. No, I've always told my age. That's well good for you. You know. Yeah, so you that's be proud uh, of that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you you got a busy schedule at the station. I do. I do. I understand from our conversation you have to help put the news together. and. Uh, well, when I come in in the morning, I usually try to get there to the newsroom by about 3.30 or so. Of course, on the days when there's snow or a storm, yeah. we get in a little bit earlier. And we have writers and producers who are there overnight. Once the 11 o'clock news goes off and yeah. people are sort of going to bed, there's a whole group of people that arrive right yeah, before the 11 o'clock news. And they kind of take over from yeah. those producers and they follow anything that happens overnight and a lot happens overnight as we oh, see when you had your terrible disaster here in Everett just it's a terrible. while ago you know when I arrived at 3 30 it was fully engulfed in flames and underway so by that hour they called David Wade we sent him up here and he was here with a live camera crew at one location and our reporter Sarah Kanji was at another and then I was back at the station so they were here gathering information and we were covering the rest of the news stories of the day so that by the time we got in on the air at five people all over th the state New England and your city could see what was going on yeah. right here and, and they're sending pictures back to you right and, and the satellite trucks will come up with the photographer and we have great we have this one gentleman his name's Nat Whittemore he's worked at WBZ for over 40 years and he is out in the night getting footage of getting Picking you know up. anytime there's a fire he listens to the scanners he knows all the policemen and the firemen and he knows what's happening before anybody else and uh, so he can be there so yeah. that day you know he was here and ever before anybody else and had fantastic pictures yeah. of what had happened yeah. and uh, that's the great thing I think about especially local TV news is you can really bring people there you yes, know they can yeah. be up and really yeah. uh, see what's happening Right Not away. only that, it's such a place to have people that are popular like you on our <laughs> show. One of the reasons is, you know, a lot of the people we have for guests that yeah. 
haven't got the ability to produce words and speak the way you people who are in the business of speaking on the television. Sure, and sure. It's such a pleasure to have oh, you here. Oh, with you're us. so nice to say yeah. that. It's great. You've been doing this for 10 years now, this oh, show? 10 years, yeah. That's fantastic. My family. I can do it because there's no audience. My, <laughs> my family says, I'm sick of looking at you. I don't even want to watch the You're program. You're a star. You're <laughs> they, everywhere. They just kid with, they kid along with me. <laughs> well, that's what happens to me. All my family and friends see me every day, but I don't get to see them necessarily no. yeah, all, yeah. all the time. Yeah. That's how they but get. They can keep track of you. Did you go to college around here? I did. I went to Boston College. Really? Oh. And that's where I met my husband. And he actually is in broadcasting as well. He's the voice of Boston College basketball on the radio. Really? Would you he believe that? Does, his name is Bill Eben, and he does the games with Ted Sarandis on WE. Yeah, wow, that's when people wonderful. listen to the basketball games, and he that works in advertising. So it'd be strange if you ever went there. When my uh, I had two cousins were there, one was oh, with really? Good Morning America. Oh wow! Uh, Melon O'Keefe. So you have a history with television? No, yeah. I, I have a show business history. Yeah, you do. My father, my father, his brother was Jack Haley's partner on the team at Crafts and Haley oh, wow. on the old vaudeville circuit. Oh, isn't that fun? Yeah, that is great. I have a grandson that just got accepted in BC. He was all That's excited. Impressive. Yeah. Well, that is impressive that these is. days. The yeah. number of applicants. I remember I applied the year Doug Flutie won the Heisman Trophy. Oh, so my oh, niece yeah. was the event. Oh, it was hard. And at that time, I remember there were 16,000 applicants for yeah. 2,000 spaces in my yeah. class. Last year, there were something like 38,000 applications. So oh. Boston College has really grown. My father was in the class of 1943. Wow. Uh, when, you know, it was a commuter school, all men. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. generally, uh, you know, much smaller, you know, and so the mm -hmm. growth that he has seen there has been amazing. But yeah, I went to Boston College and I grew up right outside of Worcester in Shrewsbury, uh, Mass, in central Massachusetts. Oh. I went to Notre Dame Academy in Worcester, oh. which was uh, where all my sisters and I were educated. So I've always been a, a local girl. A conception local girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But That's my husband's from the Midwest. My husband grew oh, yeah. up in Michigan, and he always said once he came to Boston, he never wanted to never leave wanted this to leave. area. Yeah. Oh, see? Yeah. There well, are many places in the country like the Boston area. He must be pleased the with the area. woman that he picked. Well, it's true. Wife. Something was calling him <laughs> yes. the East Coast, <laughs> clearly. He saw that he needed to be here. So. Oh, that was wonderful, yeah. That's yeah. great yeah. because yeah. I think it's wonderful when marriages are for a long time and there's kids. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, and he's wonderful, and it's I'm very lucky, you know, when I'm not there in the morning, he's there with the children, and, uh, you know, it's just nice the way the schedule is able to work out, yeah. Yeah. both of our work Isn't schedules. Isn't it ironic how things can work out? If I you know. Think, if you have positive thinking, that's true. you can make you things work. That's true. Because I sort of have a diff had a different route into television news than a lot of people, and I did stay home, and I had my children in my 20s. I stayed home full-time. I was a full-time stay-at-home oh. mother for nine years when they were small, mm -hmm. and then went back to work after my youngest was in preschool. So it was nice to be able to have that experience yes, yeah. and then get back into the work world and the have this experience. The of years you were there. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, it was so good 